Hey, what's going on guys? King QB here with another YouTube video. Show you guys how to make your Xbox Live connection better without the laggingness and let's not forget your Netflix account without uh, improper loading. First thing you want to do is go ahead and uh, go to the link below and once you do that you'll receive a page that pop up something like this. Once that's done, go ahead and click on the link. Uh, once it's done downloading, go ahead and install it. And once it's uh, done installing, go ahead and uh, open it up. If not, if the program should already open up automatically, it should look like something like this. Uh, first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to Query Data Source and click the browser that you mostly use. In this case, I mostly use Google Chrome. Uh, once that's selected, go ahead and click Start Benchmark. And what that's going to do is check all your DNS uh, servers, the best one suitable for your internet connection. Um, obviously, I'm not going to do this right now because I've already done so. Um, once you get the results, a page will pop up just like this saying uh, which DNS server is fastest for you. And what I want you guys to do right now is go ahead and write these two numbers down your primary server as well as your secondary server and once you got that out of the way go ahead and log into your router settings uh, mine is usually uh, 192.168.1.1 and your username is admin and password is password go ahead and log in and what you want to do is look for uh, DMZ settings and for Netgear users it's going to be under this section right here uh, WAN setup and then what you want to do is go ahead and click default DMZ server um, all these spaces right here are going to be filled out already for you um, the space that I want you to go ahead and uh, fill out is this last space right here and I want you guys to think of a number anywhere between 10 and 250 and enter it now and go ahead and write all these numbers down because uh, later we're going to have to enter them in the Xbox and once again once you get these numbers over here in your uh, primary server and your secondary server numbers I want you to go ahead and go back to the router settings and find your basic settings I'm sorry yep basic settings and look for the the tab that says domain name server DNS addresses um, it's usually set up to automatic IP addresses ISP and go ahead and click uh, manually basically and go ahead and at this time enter your primary and your secondary DNS uh, numbers they're gonna be right here primary and secondary once that's done hit apply and now I'm gonna be switching over to the Xbox Alright guys, once you guys switched over to your Xbox, go ahead and turn on your console. Uh, once that's done loading, go ahead and go to your settings, go to system, and then go ahead to your network settings. I'm sorry about the picture by the way. I got my capture card uh, coming in the mail, it should be coming anytime soon, hopefully now. And then once you have uh, got that done, go ahead and pick the internet uh, network that you're going to be using, and then what you want to do is go ahead and go to configure network and go to where it says IP settings as well as IP address you're going to go ahead and want to put in manually it's usually automatic um, for your subnet and your gateway uh, leave it how it is how it uh, how it was as it was in uh, automatic next thing you want to do is go ahead and change your IP address the IP address you're going to want to change it to that number that you made up that I told you to put in your DMZ um, once you have entered that number in go ahead and hit done and you're done with that part and the next thing you want to do is go ahead and where it says DNS settings as well as primary and secondary DNS server and it's as what well, once again it's just it's automatic usually but uh, what you want to do is go to manual go to primary DNS server and go ahead and enter those numbers in that popped up on your name bench uh, results 
and then once you uh, enter your primary, go ahead and go to the secondary. And then once you have done that, hit done. And then done as well. And then go back, test your, test your network settings. Um, and everything should be running smoothly now. Uh, no more Netflix lagging, no more 5% uh, taking forever. Uh, everything should be running much, much, much more efficiently. Um, another tip for you guys, if you guys like playing Modern Warfare, um, don't settle for a lobby that has more than 75 ping. Uh, for me, I like backing out and getting a 50 ping game every time. I hate that 3 bar connection. But uh, after this, it should be running pretty good. You should be mostly getting 50 ping lobbies. Um, so thanks guys, rate and comment the video.